Hello, day six. I have to share with you before I go on that I took my vaccine, my first shot yesterday, and I'm feeling a little out of sorts. But it's my commitment to be on this 30-day journey with you. So here I am. Now, yesterday we had talked about how we need to relearn to start living from an accelerated space of clarity and confidence, right? And I know these are precarious times. There's no certainty. We have no experience on how to tackle these crises. And somehow we keep thinking that life is going to change, but we don't see it changing. And we keep wondering if the new reality is the new normal. Now, I'm hearing a lot of mixed emotions and I feel them too. And I know that you can also relate to it, that sometimes we feel numb and overwhelmed at the same time and sometimes we are stressed and yet we're trying to stay calm we want to be responsible yet we are helpless it's as if there's so much information to process and in doing so it's really really messing up with our mind and emotions and i can tell you this this is a sure short way to mental health crisis. Now, I just want you to start thinking, start acknowledging what exactly are you feeling? What emotion are you feeling? They say name it and you can tame it. And this is a subject I am going to take up in a few days. But for the time being, I just want you to acknowledge the emotion that you're feeling. Now, P University did 3,700 surveys asking the young people, the load bearers of our future, to check on their mindsets. And some of the answers have emerged and they're very interesting. Uh, a lot of them said, yes, we need to wear masks, thank God, because a lot of them didn't want to and they were protesting. A lot of them said being spiritual and praying harder. How surprising is that? And a lot of them said, we need to work towards more sharing humanity, humankind, and intimacy. Thank God, finally. So my question to you is, how are you contributing to this reimagining of the society as it should be? And you do realize that our focus needs to come back to tackling issues of inequality, of stress, of traumas, of isolation. Only then together can we rebuild our society. So I'm going to leave you with that thought. Are you a contributor already? Now tomorrow I'm going to talk about what are the impediments that do not allow you to be a contributor to reimagining of a new society. Till then, stay blessed and I will see you tomorrow.